Greetings, people of the world. Matthew back with you here at Novara Autism for another edition of the Tales of Eorzea vlog here on Final Fantasy XIV's Exodus server. So, yeah, it's been a week now since we have had the situation that occurred with Cynthia as well as Pacify and Azurian. And I know that for me, it's certainly been a bit of a nervous week to try and figure out um, if there could ever be a hope for an amiable resolution someday between the three of them, because I really would like that to happen. But given what we've been going through over the past week, um, and the people we've had to meet, I think we're going to be able to not let this get to us, because in the last week we have welcomed a couple of brand new members who are also viewers of our, of our channel. So, in this instance, we are welcoming e Evie Okuria to our free company, as well as Sakula Islanzari. And we are very happy to have both of these um, viewers of our um, live streams, as well as our vlog, joining us here in Tales of Eorzea. It's really nice to know that um, we may have lost a couple of viewers who were members, but we've gained a couple of new members back who are also viewers of the vlog. And so knowing that we can um, take comfort in that really makes me happy to know that we're able to help out both Evie and Sakura as they're getting on their journeys because they've both um, admitted that they have not been in the game for quite some time. And from so what Sakura has told me, um, he, he, the person who plays him, he has not played the game, um, for a long time. So, we're happy to be able to be a part of his return to the game and to try and help him with his progression as he's coming back. Um, but also we did, um, we did actually lose a couple of other new people, um, this week, but they are not go gone forever. We did lose, um... A couple of people. We lost Tater Joe and Azuma Rinishi, um, who are both roommates at um, in the same place. And but it's not what we're gonna not see them ever again because they have actually now established their own free company that will be working in cooperation with us. So Azuma has taken the lead on that, and so um, because we've named ourselves the Tales of Eorzea. He has decided to try and go with a more curious name that's on the opposite end of that and go call and call his company the Heads of Eorzea. So it's certainly quite a nice little ring of it certainly has a nice ring to it, and if nothing else, the um the abbreviation for his free company certainly gives you a reason to laugh. <laughs> But yeah, they just um, got it started, and they, it's just the two of them so far, and it'll be interesting to see what they can make of their new free company. They did get, um, so it looks like they have gotten it officially made, so um, I guess they brought in, uh, maybe they had like a, they made a couple of alts and helped each other admit themselves into the free company and then got rid of them. Maybe that's how they went about doing it. I don't really know, but... In any event, I hope that they do really well and that we can continue to have fun with Ozma and Tanner because they were really cool guys. We really, um, they haven't been around much lately because of work obligations and family obligations, but we're happy to have had them here at the Tales, and they were always really good people to have around when they were around um, in the Tales. So we're definitely going to miss them around here, but it's not like they're gone forever, and. Given that they actually have a house that they own here in the Lavender Beds, I can see them changing it and converting it over into an FC house. Kind of like what we're doing with the place that we have in the Goblets. And I'm pretty sure that we'll be able to get some accomplishment out of that. Also as well, I think we may have been able to get ourselves into a better situation now in terms of getting money so that we can convert our place over in the goblets into a free company house. Last night, if you had the opportunity to watch our Day in the Life webcast with Corinne, you'll know that we went with our good buddy Thamriel and his friends to do a number of treasure maps. 
that led to us taking on the bonus dungeon that can be achieved if you are able to have the random number generator in your favor and you complete a dragon skin treasure map known as the Aquapolis. And that place allows you to um, fight more enemies and then once you do that, you then have to choose between two doors. One takes you further where you can get more treasure and fight more enemies and one just is incorrect and it kicks you out. But it, w it was fun to do that with Tham and his friends last night. It was definitely something that I would encourage you to check out. It was worthwhile to have that much fun. And we did bring... I did bring Cynthia and Asia along. They also came along. It was also um, an opportunity for them to be able to help out to contribute for the free company in that regard. So we're definitely... I'm definitely making it a point to get out my gathering equipment because I've really have been neglecting gathering for a while just because I've been so fixated and focused on helping out our free company members with their grinding. But now knowing that we have this opportunity and this option to use dragon skin maps to go to the Aquapolis and possibly get a lot more treasure that can be used to be sold off and added to our coffers that we can convert our spot in the goblet, I think it'll definitely be the best thing in the long run for our free company and we can definitely make a, the opportunity to take advantage of it. It will definitely be worthwhile. And I just realized that one of Chelsea's alts is on. So yeah, let's give her a hello. Oh! Well, oh, this was unexpected. But yeah, we got, we got another application. This is actually from someone who we've met before. We've actually met this person before in Langshell, and I've actually had the chance to help this person out with grinding. But it looks like they want to join us now. So yeah, I think we'll do that. Yeah, we will go ahead and welcome um, Charlotte Starlight, level 41. Uh, may I please be in this FC? You certainly can. You certainly can there, Charlotte. Yeah, Charlotte is a person I've actually helped out before with um, some grinding, so yeah, it's good to know that um, she wants to come to join us because um, the person who plays Shrouded is actually another viewer. So yeah, we'll definitely give her the hello. Well, I was, I was not expecting that, but th that's really cool. Actually, Shrouded did mention that um, she was con the person who plays Charlotte was contemplating changing free companies. So yeah, I guess now Charlotte is with us So yeah, that's really cool that we get that opportunity to welcome a new vi a, a viewer another viewer of our vlog and of our live streams to our free company Just shows that we even though we lost Asrian and Pacify last week it doesn't mean that there still aren't people who watch our vlog and who watch our live streams who are not inspired to come and join us. And I'm really happy that we get to now welcome Charlotte as well as the others we got to welcome, Sakura and Evie. It's definitely going to be a good way for me to know that we will be stronger going forward and that we can help out the people who need it when they need it the most. So that's going to do it for this edition of the Tales of Eorzea vlog. Thank you very much everyone for watching. As always, if you have a character that you would like to create here on the Exodus server, or if you already are on Exodus and you're looking for a free company, we'd love to have you. Because, yeah, we just, we just welcomed a brand new member on the vlog, and I think that's the first time we've ever done that. So yeah, that, that was a really unique milestone for us, and so... Hey, you're welcome, just like Charlotte, you are more than welcome to come join us, and we'd love to have you. So thank you very much, everyone, for watching, and until next time, everyone, this is Matthew with Novoro Autism, saying take care, and I'll see you soon.